Lions TV, this is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around the Den. This is actually covering old ground. I've not completely lost my marbles, don't worry. There is some new content involved in it. I'm talking about Abdul Abdul Malik because today he has re-signed for the club and accepted the contract offer, the first year pro contract offer that he turned down at the back end of last season from Millwall. Very, very strange one. And again, look, he's a young player. Believe it or not, I don't like to slag any players off. I know people think I do. I don't, especially the youngsters at the club. And he is now, once again, a Millwall player. So I'm just going to explain the situation. Try not to go in too deep. Although, if I'm honest, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit pissed off about it, as I'm sure many others are. So, Abdul Malik, uh, been a Millwall player for a long time. England, under 15, 16, call him what you like. Very well known at the club and highly rated, having never kicked a first team football. So... He says a lot about him. He does come with a little bit of a reputation. His reputation does precede him. In the past, there's been rumours that he could go on to bigger and better things, i.e. Chelsea, Man City, the Arsenals of this world, etc., etc. Word of rumours. Um, I've seen a lot of him in the 23s. Okay, he was only a scholar at this point and not officially a first-year pro, but I have also seen a lot of players from that sort of level, um, including the players that have now gone on to sign the contracts that he originally turned down. I'm talking about the likes of Arthur Penny, Alfie Allen, Nana Botang, who plays in a similar position to him. And and I honestly think he's back at the club now. I, I don't think he's that good, honestly. He's very short. He's quite powerful. He's one of them. He's a little bit of a nearly man. His movement's very good, and he is quick, but his final ball has a lot to be desired. But I'm not saying that's, he couldn't progress that. You know, that's exactly what that, that sort of um, era of football is for, the, the youth teams to try and, you know, coach things out of them that maybe bad habits they got or put things in and they didn't have. So he's um, he's highly rated, as I said, but I think he's believed his own hype. And I know he's probably been badly advised by his agent, but if you're happy at a club and your agent says this, you go, well, I'm, I'm quite happy here, though. So he turned down the contract offer. He then went out on trial at various clubs. Um, Southampton, Watford. I think, first off, he went to Portsmouth. Now, why has he gone to League One Portsmouth? I think Portsmouth have probably said... Come in and do the business, we'll give you a contract player in the first team. I can't think for any other reason why he'd leave a championship club where he's very well thought of and drop down a division to Portsmouth. He didn't get taken on by Portsmouth. Then I heard he played in a game at Watford where they lost 5-0 you know, against someone and he got taken off. Then he's at Southampton. Then I sort of lost track and interest of it because, again, we shouldn't really be talking about it in this much detail. But there seems to be a big cloud slash a lot of hype hanging over it. So... I thought that was it. it was dead in the wall. I didn't know where he was going to go. Um, of course, if he did leave Millwall, then we would be entitled under the rules of football that if a player under a certain age leaves a club, that club has to be compensated. It was rumoured that we were due to be in the region of £1 million if someone did take him off our hands. So I'm not saying that Portsmouth didn't think he was good or Watford didn't think he was good, but they probably didn't think... Well, they obviously didn't think he wasn't a million pound good. So he's done the rounds uh, on the trials... And I thought that was it. But now, today, a U-turn, news at them, break the news, that he has re-signed for the club. Um, very strange decision, in my opinion. Gary Rout was asked about this a few weeks ago, and he said, seems a case of a young man being badly advised, and I don't know where it's going to end. But it's ended with Abdul Malik doing a complete U-turn after being on trial, or two or three, four clubs, maybe. Um, and they've, now he's come back with his tail between his legs. I don't know whether the agent's now gone, and he's being better advised. And they've said, you know, Mill said, we'll have you back, but can't have this agent around you. I'm not sure. But he is back at the club. And he's frustrating. Yes, okay, he's young. And we all make mistakes, especially when we're young. Uh, maybe it might bring him back down to earth a bit of, with a bang for a little bit. Because, as I said, I think he believes his own hype. And I honestly think he's not that good. And he'll probably end up in non-league, if I'm honest. But we sign him for another year. So what happens then? What happens after that year? If he does set the world light and prove me wrong... Was he, well, he, right, see, cheers for that, I'm off again now. I don't know. Very, very strange decision. There is a second cog in this wheel, as far as I'm concerned. There's a, an under-23s player, he's a first-year scholar now as well, I believe. Or he might still be a second year, I'm not sure. And his name is Tom Leahy. Now, his brother, Jack, was actually on trial for Millwall at the back end of the last season. Was a pro at Brighton, and then came in to, to, to the fold at the 23s. I watched him a lot. Similar type player to Abdul, pacey, quick, likes to attack the ball at his feet. Uh, but he was actually better, much more powerful, better built, and he just looked more of a man. Um, and he was a good player, scored some good goals, put some good assists in. 
Millwall didn't end up signing him. I don't know whether because they couldn't offer him that contract until the Abdul Malik saga had been resolved. Maybe I'm, I mean, I'm second guessing that. But Jack Lee here has now actually gone and signed for Cardiff. So watch him come back and bite us in the arse a few years down the line, probably. But there you go. The Den Daily. We bring you the news. The latest news, views, and interviews, and whatever else is from around the Den. And that is today's news. Abdul Abdul Malik, after turning down a contract at the back end of last season and going on trial at three or four clubs, does a U turn and says, yes, please, I will now have that contract gaffer. So he's back at the club, and I'll be very, very interested to see how he progresses going forward. Of course, I do like going to go and watch the 23s. So I will keep you posted on that one. For now, that's your lot. There will be a Thursday club up later, and there will be a score predictions up tomorrow. And it's Saturday. It's match day. We do it all over again. That's what we do. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.